Welcome back to episode 17 of the CBL X's and O's podcast for season 2023. We're going to sit down and preview what is round three of the Gippsland Conference occurring this weekend. And I just want to welcome Reese Ham riding into the call again. Welcome, Reese. Thanks, Matt. Happy to be here. And it's going to be a fantastic round. Let's start off in with the Gippsland men and let's go all the way down to the beach and start off with the game between Lakes Entrance and Moey. This will be an interesting game. It will be. Um, yeah, definitely be a tough test for the, for the Pelicans. Um, you know, Moey are red hot at the moment. Um, they're really getting their things. Austin Shelley's a force to reckon with. He's averaging over 40 points a game um, in the first three games. Um, you know, so yeah, Lakes are going to have to do everything in their power to, to slow him down and try and get someone else to go and drop 40 uh, for once. But yeah, I'll, I'll say that uh, Moe gets this one, um, but you know, it won't go down without a fight. And it's the Battle of the Birds when Mafra uh, welcome Trelgan into their home venue and second verse fourth. Uh Mafra undefeated. Trail can drop one on the weekend. It's gonna be a very, very interesting clash this one. Yeah, it will be. Um, you know, I think Mafra will just be happy that they get Trailgan at home uh for once in a few seasons. So uh no doubt they're very happy about that and having to go down the highway for it. Um but look uh Sam Whelan's in great form. Um, yeah, really picking it up after seeing last weekend of Mem Bechter's returning and playing. Um, it's going to cause a lot of issues inside for Trelgan, I think, um, the tallest team. Um, but uh, with that being said, you know, there's plenty of scoring power across all of them. Um, so I don't know which way it's going to go. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely have to f- believe in the old faithful of Trelgan to get up in this one. Then Packerham, welcome. More well into Cardinia life, and this is going to be a pretty good game as well. Both teams haven't been able to get on the winners list as yet, but um, you know, Maul's going to have to defend Ben Gaze, otherwise, Packenham are going to get their first uh win for the season. Yep, both seeking their first wins. Um, you know, the good thing about it is one of them's going to come out with it. Um, you know, but with that being said, Ben Gaze is a handful, uh, big unit. Um, he gets up and down the floor really well. Very nice touch. Um, but, you know, Jordan Canavan was very quiet last last round. Um, so I think um, he'll be due for for an outburst. But um, I've actually got more well getting on top here. Um, I think they're just very close. They just uh, you know, need to put it together and, and get, get that win. And Sale travelled down the highway to take on Warrigal and... You know, Warrigal will want to be turning around the result they had last Saturday night and uh, turn this one into a win this week. Yep, I, absolutely. Um, you know, going up against a very competitive and, and fierce uh, Sonic squad. Um, you know, but the way Jordan Gookie is playing and Marco Corliss, um, you know, they've been a, a very instrumental duo for, for Warrigal so far. Um, I do have the the Warriors getting over the Sonics on this one. And like you mentioned earlier, Mafra will, will be welcoming Terrelgan and, you know, being grateful that they're playing them on their home court. They'll also be grateful that they're hosting Maui this season. So that's another home court advantage against another strong team. So that's second versus third this week. How do you see this one unfolding? Well, it's my game of the round. Game of the round. Um both reigning MVPs, co-MVPs, going up against each other, both putting on a lot of points on the board too. Sam Whelan averaging about 36 a game and Shelley with 40-plus. Um, it's going to be interesting to see which way it goes. It's going to come down to depth, I think. Um, I think they match up quite nicely um, with everything. Moe's on a nice hot streak. Mafra hasn't dropped a game yet, um, you know, depending on how it all goes uh, Saturday night. For, for Mafra, um, but I definitely think uh, Mafra are going to try and really stamp their position at, you know, close to at least the top two and and get the win over Moe on Sunday, I reckon. And Pakenham travel uh, around the bay in to see Southern Peninsula on Sunday. And how do you see that one playing out? 
Yeah, it'd be interesting. Um, I don't think we've seen the full potential of Southern Penn um, mm. as late. Um, I don't think we've really seen what their full list looks like. Um, but on the other hand, Pakenham worries if they got no one there to really slow down Ben Gaze and and Co. Um, it could be a very ugly result. So, but I'll go with the Pakenham Warriors on this one. Um, to get up um in Durana. And in the women, uh, Lakes Entrance are hosting Moe and Moe on a bit of a roll at the moment. But Lakes showed a bit of fight last week, so don't count them out. No, absolutely. Um, only going down by six um, in their previous game. But the way the Moe uh, ladies are playing, um, you know, having multiple scorers and, you know, a lot that are still yet to reach their full potential, I feel. Um, yeah, I think it will be a tough game for the Pelicans um, in, in, in their doubleheader. Um, but, um, yeah, Mo, I think Moe will get up um, in this occasion. And... Mafra hosts Terelgan as well in the women. That's a second versus third battle. Uh, that's going to be a really good good game, this one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, always fierce and competitive when it comes to the battle of the birds. Um, always trying to get one up on each other for, I, I believe, they're only meeting for the season. So um, definitely um, a lot of brownie points on, you know, for sale. Um, but with that being said, I... Definitely think Samantha Labros is having a really great season um, so far. But again, Jamie Gatley, Emerson Conley, you know, Paige Brittle being really good as well. So, you know, it's all going to come down to who can, you know, really provide that depth. Um, but I'm going to stick with the Lady T-Birds on this one and to, to get the dub. And more travelling into Packardham, uh, looking to get on the winners list more are ah, this this is going to be a nice tight game yeah absolutely um you know we've seen what the pack and women have been able to provide um so far um and you know with with their team i think Katie Letts is going to be a big um issue for more well um you know to to slow down but um i definitely think Abby Noblet's there ready to to really stand out and have an outburst of the game but I do have the Packenham Warriors women getting up on this one and and delaying that first win for for Morwell. And Sale travel into Warrigal in what's going to be a cracker game. You know that's I think that's seven versus eight. Um, both teams have had one win, but it'll be interesting to see who can get their second win. Absolutely, uh, Sale. Um, you know they're starting to show all their young guns starting to come to play. Really competitive, um, putting up a lot of great scores on the board too. Um, you know, but showing that they can keep up with anyone as well. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting for Warrigal. They want to bounce back after the weekend they just had. Um, so I'd say that the Sonics will get up in this one. I think uh, they're striving for that second win. And similar to the men on Sunday, Mafra hosts Moe in what is a tough weekend for both Mafra men's and women's team. Um, this is a, a second versus fourth battle and Hopefully Mafra will stay undefeated. I guess that's what their aim will be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, game of the round for the women's, I believe. Um, you know, definitely gonna be a, a great competitive game, you know, listing off the you know, the Mafra ladies just before and in their first game and you know, Moe have got multiple scorers as well. It's gonna come down to who's got the deepest bench. Um, he's got the lot, you know, the biggest fight in them and I, I think there's gonna be nothing short of that in the game. Um, but I do have the Moe women um, getting up in this one. And Southern Penn take on Pakenham on their home court. It's uh, Pakenham should be able to go into Southern Penn and, and walk away with the W, but it's not going to be easy. Yeah, um, I agree. Um, you know, it's Southern Penn, you know, we haven't seen their full potential either on their women's. And, you know, I think uh, Pakenham will just overpower them um, a little bit um what it looks like on paper but again anything can happen um but i definitely do have the pack and warriors women um securing that dub that wraps up our round three preview of the gippsland conference for the cbl competition in season 2023 look forward to seeing uh all the stadiums full of spectators over the weekend and then 
post the round. Don't forget, stay tuned. We will drop our round three review late, uh, early next week. So make sure, uh, yeah, we get into the stadiums and support our associations. Ain't that right, Reese? Absolutely. That's what, you know, inspires the next generation. And, you know, they look up to, you know, all those senior players. So definitely get amongst it and, you know, really support what's what's happening here in Gippsland. I look forward to jumping on the call next week with you, Reese, so that we can review what was uh, a big round three in the Gippsland Conference. So until then, good luck to teams.